Hello everyone. Welcome to Words for Life. My name is Stephen. Today we're going to look at a quote my friend gave to me. The quote goes, someone out there is holding their breath and waiting for you to fail. Make sure they suffocate. Now, this quote really speaks to the fear of failure that we all really experience at some point in our life. And during this episode, we'll discuss the importance of perseverance in the face of adversity and how to overcome that fear of failure. So really this quote is used by many different people and it's difficult to really pin down its origin. But as we said earlier, the message is pretty clear. There will always be some people out there that want us to fail and want to see us not succeed in our goals or our plans. What is important for us out of that is how do we deal with that pressure knowing that there are people out there that want to see us fail? And some of it might even be some of our own subconscious thinking that we are not good enough to succeed. We're going to get a little bit into like how do we get past and deal with that pressure or that fear of failure in a little bit. But first, let's talk about the fear of failure. So this is pretty common. We all really experience it at one point in our life, and it's pretty natural to feel scared when taking on a new challenge or going into a new situation that you're not very familiar with. The problem with this is oftentimes that fear can hold us back from something that might be amazing for us or help us grow in a new and different way. And really there are times that fear can be manifested in different parts of our lives and really cause an impact. So fear is something that lives in our head. We create it and most of the times now obviously there's real fear from like of dying or different things like that but a lot of it is things we've created in our head you know, monologues we've defined that speak to a failure we might encounter or a fear of some situation or object so a lot of it is in our own mind um and Usually this comes from a lack of insight into a situation or ourselves, the unknown, as many people know it. And this fear can prevent us from living fulfilling and exciting lives. Sometimes these fears can be so strong that they even stop us from getting out of bed in the morning. So how do we overcome our fear of failure? One of the methods we can use for this is to remember the successes, the successes of our past or the things we have done in the past that we feel good about. This positive reinforcement can help us overcome that fear of failure knowing that we have succeeded in the past. So succeeding in the future isn't way out of bounds. It is something that is entirely possible. So that can help us build up our confidence by looking at our past accomplishments and trying to use those as our forward-looking future. Another way is to tackle smaller challenges, little things that we feel like we might be more easily able to succeed at or we're less fearful of. These little ones can help us build up small amounts of confidence and help us blow up a better sense of self and really through that grow as an individual. Also, if you fail in some of these smaller challenges or situations, it's less likely to really tear down or destroy your sense of self. And it could help you build resilience by taking these small incremental failures rather than something large that really impacts the way you think of yourself. The last thing that you can try is to think about the challenge differently. Really approach it as if it's an opportunity to grow and expand your experience, to do something outside your comfort zone in the hopes of learning something new. So in the end, uh, the quote, someone out there is holding their breath, waiting for you to fail, make sure you suffocate, make sure they suffocate, reminds us that we all face challenges and obstacles in our lives, but with resilience, perseverance, really thinking about things differently, we can overcome these challenges and achieve the goals and milestones in our life that we want to. 
I hope you found this helpful in learning about ways to deal with your own fear of failure. I know I've gained some insight through this quote, so I appreciate my friend for sending it over to me. I want to thank you for joining us on this episode of Words for Life, and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you and have a great day.